hope uh, all of you are very clear with uh, the cross tags and uh, give me give me one minute there is some issue with my computer just let me close some of the tabs Okay. <clears throat> so in the last class we were discussing about the <clears throat> types of sorry not types the how how do we improve these three key factors for the metrics right the crawl stats uh, the CTR and the engagement and I hope you all are clear with it correct. Right? Does any of you has any questions around it? No. Do any of you have any questions around it? Can one of you tell me what should we do in order to improve the cross frequency of our website? Quickly or at the top level, you don't have to be very detailed. So what all has to be done in order to improve the cross frequency of the website? We can communicate to both to crawl the web page. Uh -huh. Then uh, branding will help to improve the crawl frequency. Okay. Then uh, both visits your website naturally. Uh, that you have told already. Both visits your website naturally. Branding activities will help. Communicate the bot to the crawl the web page. Yeah, what else can be done? By building black links, you can improve the crawl frequency. Correct. <coughs> By improving the website performance, technically aspect. Technical aspect. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Then. Good. Though you have almost told most of them. Okay. Yeah, so how do we improve the uh, CTR? What should we do to improve the CTR? Cover all the related variation around your page for okay. our services. Okay. The right quality titles and description. There okay. should not be a grammatical error. Okay. Okay. Understand how to use the titles and descriptions the title should be 90 words and the description mm -hmm. should be 50 words okay use brand name like title okay that's it okay so uh, anyways, so you all have the trading material, uh, which is also shared with you all, correct? Right? Okay. Yeah. So I assume that the engagement also you all have understood and maybe you will be able to remember or recall it whenever it is super important for you to implement it on the business websites, correct? Yeah. Next, what is next? So is this, that's all SEO about? If we do these things, we understand that websites will be placed in the top. But how do you do this? How do you do all each of these things? So implementing this in a practical. Okay. See, uh, these three things to improve these three things, you have to take care of certain things which are called as on page SEO, site level SEO. So all these activities, technical, 
SEO, off page SEO. Okay. So these are the different types of SEO which you have to master or implement in order to meet these objectives. Right. We have discussed so many things to improve the crawl frequency. So, so the various implementations that you do here is going to help improve your crawl frequency or CTR or engagement or all of them. Correct. What and all comes into the on page? Okay, maybe even before this. So I could say that you have to learn few more things. So only on understanding of these things, you will be able to implement all this effectively. See, even before this one, two, three, four, you may have to few more things understand such as keyword types. Have we discussed the keyword types? Market research or using the so or or, or let me call it as using the keyword planner, right? And <coughs> yeah. So did we discuss the keyword types? No, we haven't discussed the keyword match types. Correct. Yeah, keywords and keyword match types. Okay. So what is a keyword here? Anybody knows what is a keyword? What is keyword? You, you all can, if you, if you know something around it, you can just speak it out, no issues. So we are here to make the mistakes or speak whatever you have understood about it and learn in a better way. That's all. Anybody has any clue what is a keyword? Keywords are the key phrases P H R A phrases or search terms. Key phrases or search terms or simply words used by people in order to find the information or product or service they are looking for. Search terms or simply the words, simply the words used by people on search engines in order to find the information product or service they are looking for. So for example, I'll go to Google and I'll type buy shoes online. What is this? This can be called as a key phrase search term or simply a word which is used by people by me now on search engine. I'm using it on Google search engine, right? To find in order to find the information product or service web pages. Okay. Did you all get that? So that is even. So we simply in marketer's language, in SEO language or in marketer's language, we call it as keywords. Do you all get that? So now a user might use keywords like buy shoes online, order shoes online, correct? Shoes shopping. All these are referred to as keywords, right? If a business is selling the shoes, they have to be very well aware of all the search variations about their product or services individually and in whole. Right? So I am a business selling the shoes. So I should be knowing how people search on Google. That's the first criteria. That's the first criteria.
this is the first criteria for the business if a business is selling the shoes they have to be very well aware of the search variations about their products or services individually and in whole why why do you think they should be knowing anybody why should a business know how are people searching about their business or the product or service on google pitambu preeti and anmol one of you anybody why should business know how are their products searched on google uh it maybe can improve uh, your website visibility if we know what is the search keyword website visibility okay so basically uh, search engine optimization is all about optimizing your website for website to show up for all the variations related to your business correct and the first thing so so when you don't know for what kind of terms how will you decide for which term it has to be shown correct so you will not know for what kind of terms maybe you might be feeling okay i just have to show it for shoes that's what your mind says but but the people on the internet might be using so we have taken here three examples three variations but people must be using few hundreds of variations so you will be able to rank you can make your website you can make your product or service or information page to show up on google only when you product or service page to show up on google for few hundreds of search variations only when you optimize your web page for it correct why should you optimize for all those keywords why should you optimize because all they are related to your business why should you optimize so many keywords your web page for so many keywords number 1 all are related to your product and you are eligible to show up for all those variations correct so for example my name is manjuna chaudhary so i'll be responding so when someone calls me manju i am relevant when someone calls manjuna i am relevant and i can respond few people call me manjuna chaudhary and few other call me just chaudhary right i am relevant to all of them and i very well respond to all of this names all are related to your product and you are eligible to show up your web page for all those variations right why again what happens you will be achieving more traffic or visitors to your website or web pages when you optimize for multiple variations so when you are selling shoes what is wrong in optimizing your web page for buy shoes online order shoes online or shoes online shopping nothing wrong right you can show up your website for all kinds of keywords correct do you all agree with me do you all agree with me mm. right yeah so you will be achieving more traffic or visitors to your website or web pages when you optimize for multiple variations this being the reason you have to understand how is your business searched on google right now next question is so and one more thing is this will so optimizing optimizing page for multiple relevant keywords keywords also helps improve the crawl stats of your 
website. This is another reason why you should optimize your web page for all the relevant keywords instead of instead of many keywords. I'll write it as all relevant keywords. Okay. Okay. So you can make your product or service or information to show up on Google for few hundreds of search variations only when you optimize your web page for it. Correct. You can make your show up. Why should you optimize? These are the reasons. Now, how do you understand how is your business query? How do you understand? Can any of you do you do you does any of you know this? If you know, you can tell it. If not, we'll proceed. Yeah. How do you understand how is your business query? So one way is you go to the Google and you can start typing buy shoes online. See, look at this. It's showing all the variations how people are searching. This is called as autocomplete. Understand, understand the searches, understand the searches happening understand the search variations variations by auto complete did you all get it google auto complete so how is it so maybe we can take the screenshot of the same correct so now you understand what a google auto complete is even after a month or two months when you go through this material correct what else what are the other possible ways of understanding how is your business query okay let's enter this buy shoes online okay so when i scroll at, to the bottom of the page okay on google even you may have seen something like this correct ever observed this these are called as related searches related searches about your product so i'm taking the screenshot of this as well so these are called as related searches understand the search variations by the related search results on the search engine pages so you can understand this way as well but there is one problem in both of these ways in both of these ways you will be able to understand how people are searching on google but will you really get all the such keywords maybe you might get but you have to do a lot of circus shoes so look at this every time i have to type a different alphabet or a different variation so that's how i'll be able to get buy shoes now I have to copy this and I have to paste it if I have to get it in a in one sheet. I cannot, there is no way of me getting everything at one go. So you have to one by one, you have to paste it like this. Or after after copying all this one by one like this, you may have to get in order to get more variations, you may have to type different alphabets. Let's say A. See, buy shoes added us. All that starts with A are showing up. Again, copy all everything starting with A and again B. Buy shoes, buy new, bank of Brisbane, Berlin. Again, C. Copy all this. Right? Again, D. Where to buy cheap shoes in Dubai? Buy cheap designer shoes. You see? Are you getting it? Are you all getting it? How you are getting the more variations? Correct? But this is very time taking process. Correct? Isn't it? Correct, guys, everyone? Yes. So what is the solution now? Buy shoes, B, E, 
Edmonton, eBay, Euro, Egypt, Euro, exercise shoes, export, ILS, expensive brands. People are searching buy shoes from the expensive brands. Yes, Foreman, Flipkart from Vietnam, from USA, from China, for gym, for, ch for cheap, from China wholesale, for plant uh, facilities, something from Turkey online. Yes, G, right? So this way you may have to spend several hearts. Right? So autocomplete has limitations. You will not get. So where did I write? Auto complete. Correct. Understand search variation by Google auto complete. And you can type different alphabets along with your seed keyword and get many more variations of the search queries correct right done second way you are getting understand the search variations by related searches Related searches. Understand the search variations by related searches. So once you know the keywords, you can use the same keywords on your web pages, or you can use these keywords and write titles and descriptions. Okay, we'll get into that usage later. Okay, how do you understand how how is your business queries? One is autocomplete, right? And second method is related searches and we have the screenshot of the related searches as well. And third method is keyword using tools, using tools like, using tools like Google keyword, looks like Google Keyword Planner, right? Uber Suggest Keyword Everywhere and many more that you find on the go or emerge in the market. So it's not limited these to these tools. You might see a lot many tools coming into the market every day. Okay. So Google Planner is the most authentic, trusted, and accurate data provider as compared to the top that of any other tool in the market right? which is also free you don't have to pay anything to google to get enormous results right and another reason is you are optimizing your website for google search engine correct so you get exact to get information directly from Google about the searches happening on Google. Am I too slow or should we just go speaking on which let me know if I should not type here. Okay, I'm, I'm updating. I'm just recording this class, both the text and the uh, video. Okay, so that these references would be very useful for you on the go. Okay, so if you don't want this to be a type, just let me know. I can just go speaking. Okay. No. Is this fine? Yes. Okay. So consider note always prefer to use google keyword planner only google keyword 
planner only and use and consider using others only when you don't have access to google keyword planner keyword planner and all information around it okay so this uber suggests keyword everywhere all these kinds of tools are not really needed i have just mentioned it okay okay not really great and accurate okay so in case if you don't have any options i'll tell you in which scenarios you may have to use these tools so there will be some companies some companies who doesn't really understand what kind of tool would help them so their knowledge might just would have educate uh, might tell them that uber suggest is the only tool that exists on the earth or maybe keyword planner they they know only these tools and they would put on the resume so people should know uber suggest people should know majestic seo people should know ahrefs people should know scms people should know keywords everywhere okay but trust me just knowing these tools would really help you a lot as compared to the top any other tool anyways these tools are we will discuss these tools as well okay okay so you all understood how to get the keywords from different tools we are yet to see how to get keywords from google keyword planner correct okay so for that you have to sign up a google keyword planner a google you have to sign up on google adwords okay so you have to sign up on google adwords so when you sign up on google adwords you can use this option so when you sign up this is going to be interface the home interface any page of your google adwords shows this top navigation so on this tools and settings just click on keyword planner go to tools and settings go to keyword planner discover new keywords so you just have to input one seed keyword can any of you tell me what's your interest what do you want to search for one of you please tell me what should i search here which product service or the term or anything so what are you interested in to know the search variations related to it i would like to input a seed keyword from that that you are going to mention now one of you please tell me what you want me to input here pizza recipes huh recipes recipes this recipes country india okay just click on get results so this one seed keyword has given you around 2409 keywords around 2400 keywords and this tool look at this in the auto complete and uh, related searches we did not get any search volumes correct we just got the variations from these two methods if you look at observe these two methods from these two methods the above two methods from auto completes and from related searches we just got the keyword variations and we may have to do it multiple times buy shoes online once and next time i might put only order shoes and the related searches will vary correct i have to do n number of iterations this way right and moreover the second thing is i don't get search volume or any other details around it like this correct and you if you look at this you also see the search volumes here banana bread recipe 5400 searches find vegetarian recipes people are searching nearly 673000 times i don't know some of them i don't i haven't heard of it dinner ideas pancake recipe cheese cake baklava panna kotta creme brulee i don't know what this names are also broccoli this is vegetable chicken breast recipes right 
Did you all get this? This is another way of understanding how to find the keywords under search volumes. So what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot of this as well. You will get to know. So I just missed out on one thing. I could have. So. Right. This is the seed keyword. Average monthly search volumes. Okay. So you also get details of the CPs and various other things. That's okay. This is how you input. Okay. So you have input, this is input. Number one, you can put a text and write, this is what you have inputted. This is the search volume of your input keyword, average monthly search volumes. And this many keyword ideas it has provided to you. Okay. These are all keyword ideas that you get. So you can add what you see here, plus cookbook, cooking food. So up to 10 variations. You can input up to 10 variations. You know what happens when you input 10 variations? If you are inputting 10 variations, it would give you several thousands or lakhs of keywords. Let's try doing that. So I'm just click on cookbook, get result. So this 2400 will change. So it has gone to 4657 keywords. Now I'm changing to Anything else you want to update uh, Pitambar? Push Dusra keyword dal nahi Cooking, get results. <coughs> Cooking publications, get results. <coughs> Cooking magazine, get results. So there is a term called food blocks. So this way, every time I can input, 10 keywords after this 10 inputs so you get this keywords download all these keywords okay and again from this you can start inputting the keywords and you will get the, uh, accordingly the keywords maybe you can put pizza one more keyword or dinner recipes on basis of that keyword it starts giving you multiple keywords so this way you can keep downloading n number of files right right so what else Maybe I want to add a specific keyword, dinner, cooking, ideas, or breakfast recipes. I'll remove cooking, I'll remove cooking publications, I'll remove cooking magazine, food blog, okay, breakfast recipes, lunch recipes, homemade. Don't have my recipes. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have three more. You can input three more keywords. And let's see how many more keywords is going to provide us. So 10,981, almost close to 11,000 keywords. So I'll add three more. Easy meal recipes. Get ideas. Healthy meal recipes. Healthy food recipes get results it went up to 13,000 healthy food cookbook mail recipes best recipes okay you entered the limit of 10 keywords done okay yeah, so I can download it from here all these keywords to an Excel sheet. Do you all see that? I can download it from here. So download CSV file. With Amber, I am going to send this to you. You can use it. That's my bow data over there. Okay. So I'll show you how the download looks.
So it's taking some time to load. Yeah. So this is what we have downloaded now. Okay. So okay. So look at this. There are fourteen thousand eight hundred and thirty-one keywords here, right bottom. You could see here fourteen thousand eight thirty-one keywords. And search volumes, every keyword has got different search volume, right? So what I'll do is I can sort this keyword by the search volumes. So see now this data is going to help me in multiple ways. Okay. So I just have to start observing or reading this data. Okay. Are you all following me? You have to study this data. So this is going to be a abundant knowledge. So if you can start looking into this. It's going to educate you on several things. I'll I'll tell you. I'll just initiate few things how you can read it and how you can acquire more knowledge and what kind of action items can be initiated on basis of this. Okay. So first thing what I'll do is I'll just go to the data and I'm going to sort it on basis of the search volume Z to A so that the higher search volume keywords comes first. Recipes is the first higher search volume keyword which has been searched. Nearly 2.7 million times. You need 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. Next highest is 6 lakh 73,000 searches every month for find vegetarian recipes. So look at this. You have the recent 12 months data as well. So recent month is so October 2022 to you have up to September 2022 data. Okay. So and in recent times, in recent month in September, the search queries. Sorry, the number of searches for Vegetarian vegetarian recipes has gone to eight lakh searches from six lakh seventy three thousand in the last October to it has gone to eight lakh searches. It is increasing. The number of searches are increasing on Google every month, every day. Find vegetarian recipes, cakes, cakes. So this is average of twelve months. This is average of twelve months. So cakes seven six lakh seventy three thousand. So this is the search volume. So this is every three months the volumes are changing. Every three months it's increasing. Few are decreasing, few are increasing, few are few has no change. And year on year, few have increasing. <coughs> so year on year also the search volume changes. Either it might increase or decrease or might remain same. So year on year samosa, people searching for samosa as compared to last year, this year, the number of searches did not change. It remains same, almost same. Correct. And competition is the competition index will be low, medium and high. A number between. So they are giving the value as well. So competition low. What does this indicate? So not too many people are competing on Google ads to show up for recipes. This competition index is a competition of people competing to show up on Google Ads. Are you all getting it? So people are competing to show up on Google Ads. So top of the page, but if you want to show up on Google Ads for recipes, your business or your website, you may have to. So when someone clicks on it, you will be charged around three rupees. And the maximum you will be charged is 11 rupees. Okay. Fine. Did you all get this? Good. Any any questions with regard to this file? So now what you can do is on top of this, you can input this keyword. So you found the first thing you have anyways inputted recipes. Correct. Second, you found highest volume is vegetarian recipes. You can input this keyword. So see what happens when you input find vegetarian recipes. 
So this might give you a few more thousands of keywords. Right? Get results. 23 keywords. Yeah, another 1500 keywords. So I can download this and I can keep updating this file. This file has 14,000 keywords, correct? 15,000 keywords. I can keep adding the keywords and I can grow this file to 1 lakh keywords or 2 lakh keywords or many more also. Are you all getting it? Are you all getting it? Yes. Yeah, so I can keep updating this. Why should I do this? Why should I do this? So once I have one lakh keywords, I'll start understanding which one has most number of searches. So for example, let's say I might start finding cake, all the keywords that has got the cake. So I'll introduce one more new column and I'll name it as cakes. So that means of all these 15 keywords I'm categorizing this two cakes. Okay. So again, I'll apply a filter. I'll just take the blanks here. Cakes is already categorized. So I'll just take the blanks. Cakes is eliminated. Now next, I'll try to figure out samosa. Only two keywords samosa. And next, I'll find any other chicken recipes. Chicken related, see how many people chicken. So I'm going to interpret something out of this data. I'm going to interpret something out of this data. So look at this. After chicken, I'll remove this filter and I'll see again other variations. So clear filter and pasta. I found pasta. So I'll just again find pasta. P A S T A. So all these are about pasta. So I'm going to put pasta. So see, as a digital marketer, you learning all the skills, whatever I'm showing you now, Excel sheets. See, this is the, on MacBooks. So some of these shortcuts are not aware and some of the shortcuts which I use on Windows doesn't work. So hence, applying these filters is taking time. Otherwise, if it's a window, Windows laptop, it takes it, it, it takes a, a quick time. So we can process all the keywords. So maybe Salmon, Raja, fried rice, desserts, chapati, pastry. So people are using different keywords. I can search that way only, egg, egg related. So chicken is done egg related recipes. So now I'll start finding more variations like this. Christmas cookies, miniature recipes. Egg is done. P Peace, PA. So all these are peace related. I can categorize or segregate like this. Are you all getting this? What I'm doing? So burger, I'll take burger also. I'll mark all the burgers. So you have this many burger. So now from this, I'm understanding a lot of people are searching about burgers. So I might prefer to cover information about the burgers. So maybe Rajma. There are only two Rajmas. Uh, tell me something. Mutton. Or I'll put chapati. So see, I have taken only 50,000 keywords. Category related will be less, generic will be more. Paneer. Or paneer related. Price related. Uh, oh, rice. Okay, so I'll close it. This the categorization now. 
I'll just mark this as category. Okay. So once you are done with this, what else you can do? See, there are so many blanks. So I'm not going to categorize this. Might take more time. So what I'll do is I'll just mark for now. For now, I'll just mark this as others. I don't want to waste time in categorizing this. Okay. This will take several hours if not. So I have just categorized. Consider I have categorized. What are we going to do now? So we are going to study this keywords. So for this, click on insert pivot table. Click OK. And now category. So in this, I'll exclude others because others includes everything that is not categorized or let it be for now. Now I'll check the search volumes. Average monthly searches. Obviously, others will have more searches because others includes many things which we haven't categorized, correct? So others includes this much of searches. Cakes, that is 24 lakh units, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, 24 lakh searches for cakes related from this 15. So from this, I understand. Now I'll just copy these things now. I don't want everything. So on basis of this, I'm studying. I'm just studying which product has been more searched on the Google, which kind of recipe is most searched on the Google. So category and I'll call this as monthly average search volume. Are you all following this? So what I'll do is I'll just paste it here. Okay. So I'm going to plot a graph insert. I'm going to plot a graph and understand of all this, I want to give a pictorial representation for the same, right? Add data labels. Okay. So I can delete this. I can delete this. So I can increase the size of these numbers. Boom. And increase the size of these numbers, color of these numbers, right? So if I had not sorted this, you would have seen it in a different way. Okay, let me do that. Okay, let me take this as it is. So from this, I'll eliminate others. Category. Average search volume. Insert this one. Yeah, look at this how it looks now. Add data labels. Not compulsory, I have to delete all the time, just formatting it to look better. Okay. Okay, so now I am curious to know which contributes percentage wise. Percentage wise, what I'll do, I'll insert, I'll use this graph. Okay, so which is contributing the highest percentage, you can understand that as well. Okay, so here 39 percentage cakes contribute 39 percentage of the total volume. So here total volume, what is the total volume here? So total search volume is 6.3 million searches for just this 14,000 keywords. 
and we don't know in how many more ways people search for it correct correct everybody we have no clue in how many different ways people search it correct until unless you do a thorough research so this is the quickest and easiest way of understanding which kind of product or the recipe or the service is being most searched on the google now now pitambar is actually speaking about recipes so what he will do he will start writing about cakes because he understands cakes are most searched or maybe if all this volume is just with this one keyword he may replace that keyword so this way you can understand data in various ways keywords also now we have understood by search volumes i don't want it, i don't want it by i want don't want to make any kind of decision based on search volume so what i'll do now i can prefer other methods so where what i'll do is i'll also get the keyword count look at this other there are 12000 keywords let me just sort this data z to a so the chicken has more number of keywords but the search volumes are less that's okay but you have more keywords to cover from chicken it implies a lot of people are using chicken related and which is also the second highest 14 lakh searches for 8000 800 keywords and this is only 600 keywords and 24 lakh searches 2.4 million searches this is 1.4 million searches or 1.5 and 2.5 million searches so in this also there is only one keyword that has got nearly 7 lakh searches if we exclude that chicken is the most highest and moreover you cannot make any kind of conclusions or decision based on this data you did not do a in depth research if you had submitted every time chicken related keywords to your tool and downloaded see every time you can give different kind cake related uh, some keyword five to 10 variations chicken biryani related some variations mutton biryani related some variations pasta related variations every time download the keywords and get many more variations like this and that's when your data can be more informative correct correct everybody did you all get that yes how many yes. times all did you all get that mm. okay just hold on one second so anybody has any questions around this how to do the keyword research and how to understand the data how to interpret the data this is one type of interpretation now i can plot the same kind of graph for this data also so i'll take this data separate same thing i'll take again same way okay i have understood the keywords which has more number of keywords see now if i had asked you can you tell me how many keywords are related to chicken chicken in this you would have struggled like a hell correct so if you could categorize you can at least tell you can filter like this and you can tell chicken okay chicken how many are there chicken related 817 keywords right so when there are hundreds of categories like this it becomes too difficult to tell that's when we quickly use a pivot table to summarize like this this is called as pivot table we use pivot table to summarize the data now even though there are 100 categories up to here you will get quickly information like this other there are 12000 keywords chicken there are 800 keywords cake there are 600 keywords right not only keywords search volumes and any other data that you have around it maybe let's calculate the cpc uh, currency not currency the cpc is the lowest average if you are a competition or top of the page bit high so this supposed to be average not sum change it to average so which is costing you the highest cpc i'll tell you yeah look at this which is costing you the highest 
no finding like this when you have 500 rows or 100 rows it becomes super difficult so what can i do i'll quickly sort this data a to z lowest is rajma related then samosa then burger this is cpc if someone clicks on your result on your website from google ads this much gets detected for you if you make one phone call for one minute you want to pick it detected right same way if someone sees your result on google and clicks on your website this much amount detects when you are bidding on something related to rajma when you are bidding when you are selling samosas or samosa recipes or whatever if you are showing for samosa related searches on google you you will have 26 rupees deduction if you are running ads for samosa if i am running ads for mutton related products mutton pickle i had to spend 41 rupees chicken related 47 highest is others because which includes many other variations as well okay did you all understand this yes yeah so i'll uh, save this and i'll also update this information if not i'm going to update this information or details on the tracker let me save this first i'll save as So why I'm saving it as Excel book from not from not a CSV is I'll tell you the reason. So after the class keyword research. Okay. So if I am simply clicking on save, see earlier this was when I downloaded from the Google Ads. This was in CSV format. So if I am see there are multiple sheets in this Excel book sheet one and this one. So if I'm on this and if I'm simply clicking on save, this will remove another sheet and it saves only one sheet. Hence, I save it as Excel. Excel. If it is CSV, it saves only one file. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm closing this. Any questions with regard to keyword data? And you can plot n number of graphs, a graph for this also trend. So maybe quickly I can show you how to plot gra graph on basis of this also. Insert one row above. Okay. So equal to sum of research volumes okay so what i'll do now You could see how the trend is changing. So from this, I am understanding the search volumes during this month. The search volumes during this month were high. Okay, so which is this December? December month was better compared to January. Numbers are not readable, right? Yeah. Okay. So you see the graph, right? Up and down, up and down, up and down. So which month is this? February. February searches are very low for all these recipes. Again, searches are really high during July. Are you all getting this? So this way you can interpret or study or read the data. How many of you know all these pivot tables and graphs already? No one. So these skills are very, very crucial. Learning digital marketing is easy. Learning all the skills will be super important in your career. These are what going to make you outstand from regular any digital marketers from any other training institutes or from any other companies. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Any questions here? Nothing, right? <coughs> So this is all about the keywords, 
okay so uh, match types we will discuss in the next class okay otherwise it will be uh, too much if we have to discuss match types also today yeah can we wind it up for today so mantra okay. share the dos file okay yeah 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 i'll, I'll send it to you. doc or uh, which which one this one are you speaking about this doc yes this doc it's already shared i guess no excel sheet is being shared पिताबर आपको एक्सेस है आप ये ना ठाकुर ठाकुर पिताबन पथ ओके सो या anything else that's all right okay so the link of this document is also updated here in this sheet somewhere at the top maybe in the first sheet or second sheet or something yeah this one okay so anmol uh, preeti at pitapur so whatever is covered here start marking the status done okay yeah So I want all of you also to mark your attendance here. Okay. Duration, hours, everything. Okay. Okay. See you, everybody. We'll connect back tomorrow again. Okay. So tomorrow, can we all connect a bit early? Yeah. By twelve o'clock. Yes. Yeah, because I'm traveling tomorrow. Okay. We'll close it off uh, the earliest possible, and uh, again we'll connect later. Uh, actually, twelve o'clock is not possible for me. Happy. Twelve o'clock is not possible. What time is works for you? Apart from twelve thirty, any other time that works for you? Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Uh, I already have another batch. Okay, so twelve thirty is what works for you, right? Ah uh, yes. Half an hour early is not possible. Okay. okay, fine, no problem. In that case, we'll connect at twelve thirty only. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. See you then. Thank you. Thank you.